Today we will be showing you how to replace a control card in a Dell ML3 tape library. This replacement will require downtime and should be scheduled with the system administrator. This replacement procedure is the same for the base module control card as well as any expansion module control card. If you need to order a replacement base module control card for your ML3 from the Rocket platform, please use part number T8DV5. Prior to performing this replacement procedure, it is best practice to log in to the web GUI of the library, if possible, and save your configuration. Even though the library configuration is saved on both the base module control card and the library control chassis, it is always a good idea to have a saved configuration to restore from if needed. Once the configuration is saved, you can power off the library by pressing and holding the power button for approximately 5 seconds and then releasing it. The library should initiate a soft shutdown. If it does not, press and hold the power button for 10 seconds and then release it when the library powers off. Now you can move to the rear of the library. Locate the module with the failed control card. Modules are always numbered from the bottom up starting with number 1. For our example, we are using just a base module controller. First unplug the power to that module. Then unplug any module interconnect cables going to the control card if they are present. Also unplug the ethernet cable from the control card if it is present. Then undo the two thumb screws holding the control card in the library. Once they are loosened you can pull the control card back and out of the library and set it to the side. Now you can install the replacement control card by lining it up with the guide rails in the control card bay and pushing it in firmly. Once it is fully seated, tighten down the two thumb screws and ensure the card is secure in the library. Then proceed to reconnect the module interconnect cables and ethernet cable if they were present. Then you can reconnect the power cords to the module and then move around to the front of the library and hit the power button once to power the library on. The library will now initialize and should automatically restore the configuration from the chassis to the replacement control card. It is important to log into the web GUI of the library and verify that all settings are correct. Additionally, if your library has any licensed features, verify that the license information was retained and re-enable any features if necessary. If you find that settings were not carried over properly, you can either restore from your saved configuration file if you have one or reset the library manually. If you are having any issues with the controller card replacement or your library is still having errors after replacing the control card, please reach out to us at support at therocketplatform.com and we will be happy to assist you.